what's up you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel thank you for entering into naturally jaja's world today i'm going to show you how i refresh an old wash and go a week old wash and go so yeah, if you're interested in these results just keep on watching So before I start the styling process to refresh my old wash and go, I'm just going to go ahead and re-moisturize my hair. So I am spraying water and I'm taking the Myel Organics, um, covering it, I'm taking the Myel Organics leave-in conditioner, the pomegranate and honey, two pumps, and just detangling again. And I'm just gonna twist that up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for each section. Again, I'm just going to spray water, separate it into two, spray water, and apply the My Oil Organics leave in conditioner and detangle. Mm -hmm. So I went ahead and detangled my hair and moisturized using the Myel Organics Pomegranate and Honey Leave-In Conditioner. Now I'm going to take each section, separate it into two sections, and begin my styling process. And the stylers that I'm using today, I'm going to be using the Myel Organics Pomegranate and Honey Mousse. It is a curl defining mousse and a mousse with a hold. And I'm going to follow it up with the, cult, the Curl Sculpting Custard. So again, I'm going to saturate the section with water. I'm going to take one to two pumps of the mousse. And I'm using the raking method, so I'm taking my fingers and I'm basically just raking it down to create a clump or a curl, just like that. And I'm gonna take the custard. I don't know if you can see it with all the mousse on my hands. And I'm just gonna add it to the section just to create a hold. So I probably don't need a lot of product because I already have product on my hair because I am doing a refresh and the water does activate the product again. So I'm probably going to use one pump and just a little bit of the custard just to give it a hold in some type of um, definition. Mm -hmm. And actually, once I finish with this section, I'm going to clump it all together as if I did the section in one big part. So you can see how it's creating the definition and the hold. So again, water, nice and wet. Mm -hmm. 
and then the custard. It's hard to show the custard on the screen because it's clearish. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it like that. I'm trying not to disturb the other curls that I created, so I'm just gonna do it that way. And And you can see the curl is already kind of defined. So that one, that piece, I'm actually just gonna, what am I going to? Yeah, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. So this is how the section looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest and then I'll show you when I come back. So I'm just gonna show you a close up. Spray the water. massage it in make sure it's evenly distributed throughout the piece apply your mousse again raking it through making sure you're creating sections and clumping the hair and then apply the custard And that's what's going to actually give it the extra hold. And I want my hair to fold this way, so I'm going to let it dry that way. So I'm going to let it dry for about an hour to an hour and a half underneath the hooded dryer. And then hopefully I'm, it's dried completely. And then I'll go ahead and let it air dry and tie it up for the night. I do want to stretch it so I may get up extra early just to make sure I can um, stretch it. I'm going to see if I'm going to stretch it with heat or not. And But I'm definitely going to do the banding method to stretch the hair. So we'll see in the morning how the takedown goes. So it is the next morning. I just sit under the dryer for about an hour to an hour and a half it is completely dried I did pineapple my hair and these scrunchies and now it is time for the takedown so I'm going to use my cream of nature shine mist just to take down the hair make sure my hair is nice and um, oily and try to minimize the frizz because I still do want some definition and what I'm going to do is just take down each scrunchie so I do have satin scrunchies in my hair um, I did order them off of Amazon and I can link them down in the bottom and then I'm just gonna separate it apart So you, when you do the banding method, you make sure you do it at the root and you leave the end so you can still have definition at your ends. So at the top, I did make a loose pineapple so I didn't lose too much definition. And be gentle. Don't do it like me. <laughs> I'm in a slight rush. And you just pull it apart. Love the definition and the volume. Do want this to come back like that. Focus on me. So now I'm going to take my pick and I'm just going to fluff it out. But I'm going to fluff it out on the inside. To create more volume. I don't want to mess with the top too much because I still want to hold on to the volume. So you just pull down and sh Pick it out just like that. Looks great. 
great. <laughs> I love it. And you just keep playing with it until you get the shape that you want. So these are the results of me refreshing my wash and go. I absolutely love it. It turned out really nice. My hair still has definition. My hair still has volume and my hair also still has a hold. It's not crunchy, but it looks like and feels like that it will hold up for another week, which is okay in my book. So if you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Also, leave a comment letting me know what you do for your wash and goes. Do you use a mousse? Do you use a gel? Do you use a combination of products? And I want to try them out, so let me know down below. And also, please don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.